Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official. Hey. Miss fabulous. Jam- no, fabulous. Miss Jamaica, what's going on? Nothing, nothing, Madel. Say, man. Hey, man. Who hey, song guess what? Is it? Check it, man. We again, got- you <laughs> did that again. You still haven't hey. figured it out? Oh, that's your song? I wish. Uh. Say, man, we got my guy back in the building, man. My boy Rainboy came back. My boy Rainwater came mm. back. Mm-hmm. He back on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah what's going it. on, man? I'm all right, y'all. Man, you're a busy man, man. You always moving around, man. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of stuff been going on since uh, uh, I came. Oh man, I don't, yeah, man, listen, man. When I put that thing out, I really, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, I always debated in my head how it would do, and it did great, man. So thank you for coming on the show, man. Yeah, every, every month or something new happens, so y'all didn't put me on a uh, payroll like, like <laughs> that me like, like, like an NBA player. Hey, I believe it'll be worth it, man. And yeah. hey, you be working, man. But you ain't got time for us, man. We already know you ain't got the time to be chilling with us like that. Yeah, I make time. <laughs> He make time for that. I don't miss two flights, Miss mm. Oh man, <laughs> you always gone. How do you? How can you have a family with always I, being gone? I don't. I got. I don't. I be. You know, I'm missing family time. Because I know females supposed to be arguing with you all the time. I, I'm missing family time. I ain't lying to you, but you know, I got. I got a. I got a purpose. Cause how old are your kids? Uh, I got a, a ten year old and a, a two month year old. Is wow. a ten year old a boy or a girl? Ten year old girl. A girl. Yeah. Well, because usually you always say that a boy, a boy needs to have his dad, you know, especially when they reach around 10, 11, yeah. always there to lead them in the right way. You know what I mean? Yeah, my little girl, I'm about young and I'll, cause, you know, that little girl, you know. She's a daddy's girl? Yeah, but, you know, she turned into a kid. Mm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, teenager, teenager, getting up to yeah. the teenager. She, yeah, so, you know, it's a, uh, ooh. I let hey I, I said I'm gonna let you go and start Do this you thing have any off, siblings? man. <laughs> yeah, I got a little brother. A little brother, that's it. Yeah. Okay, so you uh, the you the firstborn. Mm-hmm. On my on my mom's side, on my dad's side, I had a lot of I had like five brothers and sisters, but on my mom's side in the household I grew up with, mm-hmm. I only had a little brother. He, oh, so your dad wasn't in the same house with your mom. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, but I had a good stepdad though. Like my uh my stepdad actually is like my dad though. Like you know. Oh, that's uh, good. I call him dad because uh, he was the how was, old were you? Figure. How old were you when he came in your life? Since uh, like two or three months. Oh, okay, so you didn't go through that stage of rebellion because like you're not my daddy type of thing. Yeah, I did because I was uh, looking acting goofy. Mm. You know, who is that? You got very that's big Mike. Mm-hmm. He cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, even me. Uh, I went to that stage where uh, uh, you know, uh, rebellious. Mm-hmm. And I'm uh, trying to go to my daddy's house. So how did he win you over then if you went through that stage? Because now you're saying that he was a good dad to you, mm-hmm. your stepdaddy. How did he win you over? Because I started realizing what was going on. Okay, which is? Uh, you know. Uh, and how old were you when you realized that? Well, I had to be like 25, 26. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I started realizing all them times, you know, he took me in that backyard, made me work on them cars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, mowed them yards. Paint try to teach me how to. He tried to teach me how to be a man. Yeah, mm. you know yeah. Saying? But when you, I, I, when I went back, cause I went back and looked. I was like, man, I found out that you had went, got locked up, and and I, I didn't even match you about none of this stuff. I'm like, man, we usually go down that road, cause I, you know, I got a back, you know, a background yeah. to where mm-hmm. we go through stuff. You know what I'm saying? And right. the beat done came through what you done came through, and then be where you at now, man. That's something that's remarkable, man. You should be proud of that. Cause I'm proud of where I'm at. Yeah, be yeah. honest with you. Yeah, I ain't did nothing yet. Yeah, no, I, I know that, but I, yeah. I already know how you think. I already know yeah. where you're at with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So what I want to go know, ahead. I'm I'm gonna back said, off. Yes, I said um, <laughs> you. My persona of you, you're a very calculating person, individual right now. Right. You plan out everything that you do. Right. And um, that's a very good trait. Have you always been like that when you were a child? Uh. No, I really don't calculate. You don't? I just go with the flow. 
Really? I don't know what I'm like. I don't. I don't plan nothing out. I don't, I don't know. But you see, but looking at you and your moods, a lot of people would feel that way. That I just jump and I don't procrastinate no more. Oh, okay. I just jump and do it. Like this week, uh, my week on Sunday, uh, mm -hmm. I had flew to uh, Atlanta for the uh, Mo3 and the Red to Sean video. Mm -hmm. I paid high on them tickets because I booked my tickets Saturday night. And then I got up that Sunday morning, flew out there, shot the video. Uh, then talked to Boosie and Boosie came back and told us told me on Wednesday he doing his premiere so I flew back to Dallas got a haircut spent a little time with my kids and then flew back to Atlanta on Wednesday how was how was the Derez to show a video with Mo3 oh it was beautiful uh, we used Tide Tide uh, a cameraman that me and Mo3 used to use in Atlanta okay and uh he brought the, he brought a lot of Atlanta uh supporters out there from Mo3 was it some people came out yeah it made me mad though because uh I should did candlelight in almost in every mm, major city. Yeah, you're yeah. right. But you know, it, yeah. But at the end of the day, it just be me doing it. So you know, at the money in my pocket, you know, I pay for everything with that the Red Sun and Mo Three. You know, uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna get my money. Right. I, man, I still I've, I've been following Mo Three for a while because at yeah. first I always tell everybody I didn't I wasn't rocking with Mo Three. I was like, no, I ain't picking Mo Three. <laughs> Uh, it was a deal where him and Yelly, you know what I'm saying, was it was you had to make a choice, you know what I'm saying, when I first started listening to it. But he won me over in the middle of it. Now, I tell this story all the time. You go back and look, you're going to see. It's like, man, this nigga, my brother, he loved him. My brother kept calling me, you got to listen. You don't be listening. You know, you know how niggas have arguments. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, nah, man, I don't, I don't rock with him, man. But then I listened to that. It was the church, to take him to church and, mm -hmm. and, and you know, him and Roy Lee and all that. And that got me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I started listening at it, man. I said, man, this nigga rapping, man. Then I, I went back. I had never went back and listened to that one, that hold your tongue type song. I'm like, this nigga been doing his thing, you know? So at first I just seen the fighting on Facebook. I was looking at that, the stuff that I felt like, man, this ain't he don't make it if he keep getting into it with people. You know what I mean? He was taking up for himself. Yeah, but I didn't know that. I'm just, yeah. you know, I'm the yeah. outside looking in. I'm like, yeah. this nigga be getting in I'm a business dude. I'm looking at the business part of it. I'm yeah. looking at is he so how hard was that during that time? Cause he had a fight on Facebook. How hard was that? Was you because you was in the midst of that as far as his uh, manager at the time, right? Right. How did you pull that back around, or did you even say something about it? Uh, he called me. I was waiting on him at the Super Bowl in Houston, so he called me like, "Rain, I, I just had a whole fight. Oh, I just had a whole fight." I said, "Oh, for real?" He said, "Yeah, uh, nigga, try to try me." I said, "Okay, good." I said, "Okay, baby." So he's like, "Yeah, I did my thing." He's like, "I don't camera and everything. Go look at it." <laughs> so. I, I, at one point, I was like, okay, so I can show people, y'all stop messing with this dude because yeah. he ain't nothing to play with. Yeah. Then I, I watched the whole video and say, why in the hell y'all throw this man under the truck? <laughs> Damn. Damn, three. Like, man, uh, uh, oh, man. <laughs> I like, oh, I That's to, what I thought. I used to I was, babysit a bunch. No, of kids. I know that you mm -hmm. have to. A bunch of keys. I used to babysit. Oh, so, and and I and I thought about. I'm all right. I'm sorry because I know it's last time she got on. She got questions, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. So, what, what you got? So tell me, as a child, um, cause I know you said you were rebellious with your stepdad at one point in your life. Yeah. What's the most mischievous thing you've ever done um, as a child that you can remember? Oh, he was a bad child. I can look at him and tell you. Yeah, he wasn't bad. no damn good child. I can tell you that. I used to, uh, <laughs> I used to get my, my mom and my stepdad into it. <laughs> Purpose then, sit, sit back and just watch them fight. Because uh, cause I... <laughs> Damn. He used to be strict on me, but he used to be right. But my mama, you know, to this day, she still out She pick up side. for you all the time. Yeah, so, you know. I mean, my, my mama picked about three different high schools for me. Mm -hmm. It's the mm -hmm. way say, she used to think people were just picking on me. But... <laughs> And teachers and everything. You see what I mean by calculating? Yeah. That's a calculating move. And, and That's what that is. And it was, it really was just me. <laughs> she just realized, and now I'm like, look at you, you're all on the internet. You, you're always in some shit. <laughs> you know she tough on you. Yeah, but she loved me though. But you know, she like I, I, I always been in, in some. Like, Are they still together? Yeah. Yeah, they still together. So they lasted through all them fights. Uh, yeah, they, I used to get, they used to get, they used to get in some fights, and I used to call myself running away. And <laughs> I, I live in the suburbs, so you know, I run away, I run away, and be like, go, go somewhere. I'm like, man, I don't even live like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got to go back home. Go back home. I got my own room. What, what, so uh, I'm gonna flip it. Yeah. What was the? Uh, that was my question. <laughs> 
Okay, go ahead. That's why I shouldn't have told you my question. <laughs> anyway, um, so even now, or even back then, what is the most generous thing you've ever done in your life? Uh, Name one thing. Uh, the most, uh, in my eyes, you know. Uh, yeah, in your eyes. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, I did a lot of good stuff. You know? I know, but yeah. name one. Yeah. Name one that come to your the mind. The most I ever did for a, a person. The most I ever did for a person. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, when I paid, I paid over a thousand dollars when really died. Wow. You know wow. What I'm and you know, a lot of people ain't tell me thank you about that. Really? But you don't do it to get a thank you. you I wasn't trying to do this. Right. I wasn't trying to do it because when he died, you know, they was, you know, they really didn't know nothing about much about me. But, at first, you mm-hmm. know, his family, yeah. they didn't know I was the one talking to him every day. Wow. They put a lot of pressure on three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, you know, uh, you know, I was really like, like me and Rolly was like tight. You know what I'm saying? I was the I was the middle between them being cool. Do you think yeah. about doing a documentary for Mo3? Yeah, I'm trying to do one for both of them. Oh, you still gonna still do for one for both? Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, but then you know. But don't you still okay? Then so you got all these people saying they're looking at it, trying to make money off of it. And right. Like that. Yeah, but you can't worry but you about can't that. Worry about so that's that. the same dude. Look, that's the same dude. Sit there telling telling them, uh, he making money off of uh, Roy Lee two nineteen. I said, why? I said, how he making money off of him? It's commercials through his uh through his uh video. Wow. Man, we ain't know how to make no no make no money off YouTube. Yeah. But I have one wow. last question for you. Uh-huh. Um okay. If you could go back in time to before his passing and Mo say three. Mo three and um you got a vision or you got, you know, knew of what was about to happen to him and you weren't allowed to go to him and tell him, Don't go over here because if you went over here that would lead to your death that day. What would you say to him to help him to discourage him from what is about to happen? Uh, it's so it's so kind of hard to say. Uh, you can say so many things, but everybody know I'm blunt. Uh, 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 I'll tell him stop fucking them ratchet hoes. <laughs> right, I agree. Cause she after he died, them hoes did an interview and and, and revealed they self the same goddamn the next day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm trying. I was trying to think. I was like, damn, he told me about them girls. I ain't know nothing about them. It ain't take long though. The next day, I just seen them doing the interviews. You know Dang, yeah, they, right I was after. Like, oh, this them. Yeah, yeah. You know wow, what I'm wow. But because I always think that you know him best. Yeah. So you would know how to get through to him. So you saying that to him? And I would have just explained it. So I would try to explain it so so much and so long. Like you know what I'm saying? I would lie. I would lie. <laughs> to, man, I think them hoes got they they, they got disease. You know, fuck with them. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. Man? Try to make sure you don't crash out like don't you crash, said last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I I heard you loud and clear. You know what I mean? And I would stay. I would stay in, in uh, San Francisco because you know. Uh, um, you know, uh, the next the next day we did two videos that day. So mm-hmm. Nobody know when we went to flew to San Francisco and then flew to and then drove to Sacramento because uh, a little kid paid for two videos. Mm-hmm. And uh, and he woke me up out the middle of the night. Wow. At four in the morning, cause you know all our flights we catch like six, seven in the morning, eight in the morning. So he woke me up and told me, "Uh, come on, let's go." He ain't never told me that. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So that's hey, hey, that's that's a real one, man. You know, like I said, when I when when you were here before, you know, um, I I had a few questions that we didn't get to get to, and then I didn't want to rush through it, but I had to cause you had to catch a flight. You always try and catch a damn flight. You know what I'm saying? The man by, by being he finna go. It's say cheese. <laughs> say cheese got me famous. Oh yeah, yeah that boy. That, hey man, that boy. That's serious with it, man. I, I love man. Sean came down here and showed you know he showed me love, man. Um, a lot of times people do stuff and you know it's just God. Yeah. It wouldn't happen if it wasn't for Him. Just to show me favor, and I only been here. I ain't been. There, I pulled up about seven months ago, and people just come through and show me love, and and I appreciate y'all, yeah. man. Um, 
I was going to ask you about that. I, I had looked it up. Uh, you know, I looked up stuff. Here, here go. We got Money Moses on the panel now, so we get a little. I can be a little bit more blunt too. Mm -hmm. uh, I looked it up about uh, that Maya song. Trap Boy said something about Maya, like you was messing with her in the song, but Mo Three, you know, was liking her, but you was messing with her. Who is Maya? What is Maya? Man, I don't fuck no rat bitch. <laughs> I'm just no. asking you. Listen. That's what the song said. Man, three, three like ghetto big booty girls. All my, all my girls mix. So you don't know no Maya. Man, you know uh, who is Maya? Uh, Maya sound like a mixed girl name anyway. <laughs> hey, he know who Maya. He just said nah, it. Giant kitchen. Yeah, you gotta listen to what he said. Maya ruthless ass, a uh, ruthless ass woman. She a big booty ratchet. <laughs> she might be. Maya ain't a particular person. There's a lot of money Maya's out here. Okay. Oh, Jim, it's more than one. So, three, yeah. Three made three songs about the same girl. Really? He just put a name to it. Okay. It's okay. A lot, it's a lot of money Maya's. I, I get it. I get it. Because I've been trying to figure that out. I'm saying, who the hell? How I, run? I went back and listened because I'm trying to figure out what's going on. And, and, uh, that's how come I got confused. If it's three of them, hell, ain't no way I'm going to be able to figure it out. <laughs> but it wasn't no three of them. He don't know what's Just going on. Just making, yeah, okay. He don't know what's going on here. Yeah. So who, let me ask you this. This is another question I had. I, I got to get it off. Uh, who run Mo3 Page now? Which one? Because the one I follow, the Mo3, the, I've been following ever since when he was living, when he was doing it. Instagram? Yeah, on Instagram. I got it. Oh, you run it? Uh, Okay, good. Cause I'll be I'll be wanting to post. You know, I, I I still follow it. I've been yeah. following it ever since. Um, what you got, Money Mo? You done pulled up. You supposed to be ready today. We're just talking. Keep on talking. You coming in? <laughs> yeah, you fresh out. I, I just got yeah, a tight yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fresh out. What, what you do? How you feel to go sit there and get arrested? Hey, I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. <laughs> true, I've been in the street long as like I hell. <laughs> just don't look like it. Yeah, well, you better stop messing around with them folks, man. They they ain't working hey, for dying. They mess, around, they mess around with me. They pull me over. I don't go mess with them. They come mess with me. I get it. I get it. Hey, leave me alone. I'll leave y'all alone. So let me do me. Let me ask you this, man. Uh, I, I, one, I, I've i heard a couple of times. Uh, number seven, I heard, I seen him on the live going, you know, I seen you calm him down a while back. This was a while back. You got him off the live. It was a live. You was on. Y'all all four was on there. I don't remember. I just know you told him. Seven, man, he got off. How do you how do you keep them from? Sell ain't never didn't them don't talk shit on the internet. No, it was a, it was a live that y'all was on. You you said something. He got off. He didn't get to say nothing because you told him to get off. It was I, I seen I say? it. I'm trying to remember that live. I, I just know I know Trill Talk was on there because I was on there. I was just look. I looked at it afterwards. You know, it wasn't when it was live going on. So I was looking at a recording. You was like, you know. Cut it short. And he, I know they. So how, I, that wasn't even the question. The question is Chris. how long. How long, I mean, how hard is it to try to detour them from, you know, the the, the beefs and stuff? Cause now, I, they listen, you know, uh, seven bless. You know, seven, uh, God helped him, you know, uh, his whole situation, you know, the feds took down his whole uh, uh, organization a couple of uh, years ago. Mm. So seven more smarter than people think they think he is. You know, he, uh, he just turned 22, so... Uh, you know, he uh he look wiser. He know not to argue with people online. He know not to do none of that. I done seen him rent now. Mm -hmm. now I was looking at one the other day, wasn't yep. it? Who was that? Mm -hmm. What was that about? Uh, it was about BGF Strap, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh he must have said a lot though. Nah, he didn't he was just just going. Nah, it, was, it was kind of an old interview though. I wanna yeah, hoop, old hoop. interview, yeah. Yeah, yeah old 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 interview. he ain't did nothing new, you know, sell, sell no, I think just be, just before he even signed with y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What made him sign with y'all? Well who 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 signed him? Do, uh, was it Mo Three or, or was it you? Uh, him and Three Three liked them. Okay. Three Three him and Three had a relationship. How I was, close was it? I was I was pushing. I was even pushing for Dun Dun too. I would tell him Dun Dun. Then them came out the. Uh, so you picked Dun Dun. Yeah, I kept saying go get Dun Dun out of jail. Okay. Dun Dun the true. And then Three kept Three kept saying, but then he came out blue. So I'm gonna sign number seven too. So I was like, okay, you know, I'll in in know. Uh, and he had we had a pick from a, uh, another individual. I wanted him. Uh, I wanted to go forward with or number seven, so we agreed on number seven. Okay. Seven, the seven wasn't a bad option though, because seven already had a name for itself. Seven already had a video with a million views before he even signed with us. So, yeah. You know, everybody around us had a name for themselves. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we ain't want nobody that we have to had to depend on us or uh, use us as a crutch. 
let me ask you this, was Seven, Seven, before he got with y'all, he had a video that where he was talking about Mo3. Mm -hmm. He called him Ho3. Mm -hmm. What, how did y'all end up flipping that around to even deal with him after y'all, he was kind of, they were talking negative about Mo3. Me, him, and Three had a uh, talk. And he, uh, um, the question, Three called me about it like a week before. So and about 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 yeah, yeah getting him. No, about the, the about the beef part. About, no, about the interview. This is after okay. he already signed. Okay, after he signed. When, and then so uh, he answered the questions right when we brought him in the room. Okay, so y'all sit down and talk to him about that situation. You can ask him. You can ask the person a reaction. I mean, you you can ask a person a question. It's just going off the reaction that they give you. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes I ask for a person the same question four times, and I just watch every reaction. I get it. His, I get it. His reactions were genuine. You know, sometimes with a person at a young age and, you know, they surrounded by a bunch of people who just don't, you don't know, you know what I'm saying? They might feed off that situation. You know what I'm saying? I get it. I get it. So, did, was you around when, because Kay Breezy was on here uh -huh. and she alluded to the fact that uh, Mo3 called her and signed her. Were you managing Mo3 at the time? I was Mo3 only manager. Okay, so you did you call K Breezy? Or how, did you play part in that? Uh, three called me and showed me K Breezy uh, a video of her on Twitter. Okay, and you know, uh, yeah, we had called K Breezy. What did you think about her? I like K Breezy, and then when the shit that happened in Fort Worth, uh, they she neglected Mo three. Oh, what that really? She never talked to Kyle Mo three ever again for two years, and then she did the, the six pick song with Freddie and the girls in the video. And then she took a picture with uh with Freddie and said, My favorite trap trapper. And uh three was like, Man, he, that kinda I mean, that kinda that kinda hurt three. So that was around the yeah, that was yeah, around the was, same time yeah. that everything yeah, was going down. Yeah, then she then she put made a post on another post on Facebook that three was aware about. And, you know, he was like, that kinda hurt him. So then she just came out the blue at the Dun Dun the Seven, was like, Where am I chain at? You know, she went off on me and Sean Cotton. Really? And three. You know. Wow. So could y'all ever work together again? It's done. Couldn't work with her no more. Yeah, I already see somebody that they uh yeah, you could tell by somebody uh Yeah, but yeah, brain, see, people can change though, man. I don't want to You can't put people in a box to where yeah. they can't get out that box, man. No, nah, you already just see it though. You know, you know, you already see per people personality. This not this is some rap shit. So you allow some some rap shit getting in your head like that or things like that when we ain't did nothing but help her. I was paying. I was paying for studio time, at my pocket, and you know, three was giving her some studio time and giving her game. And you know, when it's time for shows, come on, Kai Bridges, you know what I'm saying? Or when three did have a show, and we was throwing it ourselves, you know, I put his artists on there and pay them. Wow. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when they get mad when they get the, y'all ain't never did nothing for me and this and that and this and that. Like wow. all she had to do was stay down. If she would have stayed down from the time. From the time she met us to now, she'll be famous right now. Wow, wow. I'm going to ask you another question. Um, do Oh, you got something you want to ask? Thank you. Go, okay, well, I'm, I'm going to ask you about DeRoe, because DeRoe and Mo3 did songs together. Was DeRoe, uh, when when all this happened, did he reach out to you? Yeah, DeRoe was junior. Okay. And, and he, I'm talking about after, because, you know, last yeah. time you said a lot of people didn't, didn't, didn't lock in did, with you. He said he did. Who, DeRoe? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know. I I don't remember that part, Durow, but I do know he say he. You say he did yeah, reach Durow, out. The road was a genuine dude. He, he, I know he loved. I know he loved working with him and loved being around him. But a lot of people you say fell back. The ninety seven point nine had let finally let three get on the show. I seen that. And, uh, on the, uh, yeah, he talked about that the on the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah the road talked about that. Yeah, and, uh, he he said Mo three called him. Uh, called him talking about he uh, uh he, he, was he, going he early. too what, early. Yeah, and and, and they, what happened? They put him at two o'clock, <clears throat> and nobody was there. Yeah. He so they, three would come on. We were trying to explain. We had a meeting with them. And they were trying to explain, man, he the hottest dude in the city. Why y'all put him at two o'clock and right there? So they were like, we just go give me at two o'clock and just see how it go. Wow. And he called the road and the road let him go at eight o'clock. Wow. That's love. That's love. So three performed twice. After that, they ain't play him no more. <laughs> you said that. You, you say that, that that thing hard ain't it? When it's they come hard like that, it's they my, told me it's, it's a, political. It's an individual over there that he's not there no more. But uh, I called him when three was alive. Like, man, you know, we got broken love with Kevin Gates. Go listen to him. I think y'all need to put him on, uh, on on the radio. Like, man, that's not the one with him. 
from him, man. Y'all ain't got nothing to kind of up tempo, man. Like, nah, that's the one. That's the one. Listen to it. Look at the view. Look at the organic views. We got more views than anything in the city right now. Now it's platinum. Wow. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they, uh, you know, sometimes they, they like, you know. Let me ask you, say, Tease, you mentioned it a while ago. Do, when this whole thing was going on with Mo3, Trap Boy, and Yellow, um, do you feel like he could have did something to help bring that whole situation to an end? Boy, he he was interviewing everybody at the time. So do you feel like he could have changed the narrative, or do, do you feel like he tried to change the narrative? Because they was all running to him doing interviews. It wasn't up to him. It's for the, the so-called street niggas. Okay. What the dope boys that the street niggas, the OG, the OG rappers around here. You know them OG rappers that came before them. Yeah. They were too busy putting out mixtapes and hoping they kill each other so they could get back on top. So you saying Sean really it wasn't nothing that he it, it was out of his control. He like me just got in interviews. Yeah, it wasn't nothing there though. Hey, you said something earlier too about uh, well, I heard you twice about uh, something about uh, what was it called uh, San Francisco. Was he gonna move to San Francisco? Oh yeah, we were talking about. It. He was, yeah, we was well, I heard that twice. Say Cheese said it. Yeah, we I mean, Sean Cotton yeah. said it. He was talking about it. Yeah, he, uh, he was going to move. Yeah, he's going to move on out. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. He was talking about it. Yeah. I had a couple more questions then. I'm, I'm going to get you off. But, um, um, yeah, you and um, and and I know you and when you had a, a altercation with Yellow Bees at the V-Live. And you end up, and I'm just, word on the street say you sued. Uh, Mo three, I'm not Mo three, but yellow. Yeah. Um, whatever happened with that? Uh, it's going down. Oh, it's going down. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and I asked that to say, you know, cause, you know, that wasn't the way Mo three go out. Mo three go out a whole different way. Um, why did you choose to go that way instead of the Mo three way? Uh, when it come down to dealing with, you know, altercation. Uh, you know. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, it's it's okay to go out of all kind of way. Okay. You know. Yeah. It's chess, not checkers. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, hey, man, I get it. What you got for me? Come on now. All right. Uh, you got your notes. Got you. I t told you to be ready. You know, didn't you tell him? Yeah. What you tell him, Ray? <laughs> what you tell him last time? Hey, you gonna start getting each text they respect? Huh? Oh. You gonna start getting each text they respect? I do. I just know, I do. But you know. Uh, they, they feel like you don't know. They yeah, like yeah. Trail Talk came on there since you were gone back and said he wanted to, uh, what did he say? He wanted he to wanted box, box for uh, $10,000. $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10
That's same, exactly same, 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 you, same. You, you said the same exact thing. Yeah, so if, it's, if a person say he want to do this and do in the ring, he, why ain't call my phone and inbox me? He, he said, you know, it's, you 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 inboxed him last time when you made that statement. But he should have said, he should just if he would drop ten thousand, said ten, something about ten thousand dollars in my account, then we would we would have discussed. You to, yeah, you had <laughs> to stay. You, you instead you come to uh, a boss talk. Boss talk and say for some clout and views, so you can just put in the caption, want to fight rainwater for ten thousand. <laughs> <laughs> so make it true, huh? Yeah, yeah you know put that money up. Yeah, you know. So you know, I think the people that's in power know I was talking about them, and it made them feel bad that I was talking about them. So you know, they try to get their whole community against me because they're not doing their job. You okay. know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, all that radio station out there, they ain't playing them boys heavily on that radio station. That's what that's what Bone yeah, came yeah, on here and said for real. Not, they not. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, um, for a long time, and the people that was in charge, and the people that had good songs out there, I was the one pushing them. Okay. When I went out there, you know what I'm saying. So, uh, you know, you know, they don't, they don't, they don't do, they don't do that much with them. You know, they, you got, you got, you got some people in charge right now, but you know, they worry about clout for out of towners instead of trying to blow up, blow up their own. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But hey, like I said last time, you know, in Dallas, oh. I'd like to forget Tay Money is from Athens. She's not from Dallas. Yeah, she's from Athens. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's ice, East Texas. Where the Ice House from? I've been knowing her for a long time. Yeah, you know, you know her a long yeah, time. Yeah, so she came down here because they 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 slept on her. Did you try? to, Oh, you saying East Texas slept on her? Yeah, and that's their own. I, I I don't know who I don't know who hey, had her. Can't uh, get mad at that. Well, I don't know who had her. She was repping that shit. She was, she was repping East they, Texas they at want first. Nine oh three now. Yeah, she'll tell you. She, she'll never say she's from Dallas. So she was repping nine oh three. You saying that you not, saying that my uh, my guys in East Texas didn't I, didn't grasp or grab when and grab. I met her. She said she was from Athens. And that was three years ago. You tried to sign or you tried to manage her. She was around me in Mo three for a while. Okay, and and you saying that nobody in East Texas wouldn't grasp or take her and uh uh-uh. they didn't think I don't no, they over they they slept on. Her. So uh, 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 East Texas uh, East Texas uh, rapper got a better chance of moving out here or moving to Houston to get noticed. I agree with that because out out third they don't do, so so it, so I had nothing to, I never said oh, Austin yeah Austin so I not even Austin because Austin in between or uh, or they they ain't got it's their, in the middle of everything but they ain't got their identity yet that's my second home in Texas oh yeah they you like, like their, Austin they ain't got their identity yet you know they still riding swingers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you go down, when you go down there on Austin on a Saturday or Sunday. You feel to get on here, son? Oh, my wife got something. Wait a minute. So, Wait a minute. You know. <laughs> so since you said that they slept on her, and are there any East Texas artists that you see right now that you think that they're sleeping on that you might want to grab? That little dude that they thought I was talking about. Oh, oh. CKP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to mm-hmm. change his whole style. Oh yeah. Because he already got the momentum right now. Are you rock him on out? Yeah, he, yeah, he got he got the momentum right now. Wow, that's and that's you know, good stuff. You know they should they they should have parades out there. They should they they should during the football game. You know, with uh, John Tyler just played somebody else. Mm-hmm. Uh, the big game that he should perform at halftime and made the made and rocked the whole stadium. Wow, they should you know what I'm saying? They should you know. I get it. I get it. Let me ask you. I got to go back to Mo three one more time, man. Are you going to? Last time you said you was going to keep uh, putting out. Disc records. A lot of people think that you lead with those disc records. Are you gonna continue to put those out, or are you gonna? Uh, Cause you got a lot of music, like you told me last time. Mm-hmm. Um, you got good music uh, outside of the beef music. You already said you like the the, the just the regular, the, the good music. Are you gonna keep putting these disc songs out, or are you gonna keep? Or are, are, are you gonna lead with just songs while he was jamming out? I don't, uh, I don't push no song out to leave or nothing. You know, I just. Uh you know, I just put them in. You know. Mm-hmm. Do we still have these songs? Do we still have some more? I mean, I don't look at no song like no diss song. <laughs> if it's talking about somebody, Rain is a diss song. He just tell you how was going on. Yeah, yeah. That's all it was. It wasn't no specific diss song. Well, fuck you, fuck your mama, your sister, your brother. He explaining what happened because y'all wasn't was that really realistic though or was that rap like when Biggie rap. used to rap no he used to rap and he'll say stuff so, so think about what three said y'all think it's this song like wasn't this song money on my head price went up again heard what he said i'm gonna spend again telling y'all that they got money on his head wow and so so people look at it like this song but people ain't looking like he trying to get send us a message yeah yeah yeah, you, know you see it that way. Yeah, yeah. And, and since the first time, 
Since, since all that. He's trying to send a message. 219? They said yeah. they, they said they go kill me, but hurry up. Because my son and my nephew go murder something. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to teach you, telling y'all. He's telling you the real. The real. On what on, on how, how it goes down. Slide on You know all this trouble came when I made Bubba Gang. He, he's saying that that's when all this the, 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 the trouble the came. shit came. Yeah. When Bubba died. Yeah, yeah. It was a lot of people, y'all. There's a lot of people that 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 during that time that are no longer here with us, man. I, I know that for a fact. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, how how are we gonna bring the city back together? That's my thing. I gotta ask that question every time I hit the, this panel, man. You gotta get the egos out the way. And, and you you know how to do it. You 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 a mastermind. It's the same thing with three. The last same same problems. Hey, would you sign an uh, artist from Oak Cliff? Yeah. You ain't you from Oak Cliff? Uh, I'm from Cedar Hill, but you know, uh, Cedar Hill. I moved from uh, Oak Cliff when I was like nine, ten. Nine, ten. Yeah. Would you sign? Uh, you would sign Oak Cliff artist. I, I know. Probably go get signed. You did? Yeah, I don't want he signed right now. And I then, thought you said that you. Well, oh, after, after he's you after, met him after after Mo three passed away. Yeah, so after after he met, passed away, I took him go get signed, then he ran back over there. Really? Mm -hmm. So so I didn't know you took him to get signed. Yeah, I got him his deal right now. You but you and and when you got him the deal, you did it not knowing that he was gonna go uh, do a song with Tribe Boy Fred. Uh, I got him his deal that I got a, I got him his deal that I looked up. I said, "Damn, you got a song go there?" Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Oak Cliff Business. I said, "Okay." Shit, they go to Lawrence and shit. You know what I'm saying? He he killed his whole career. He killed his own career. Wow, I didn't know you went with him to get the deal, man. Yeah, I took him to go get the deal. Matter of fact, I introduced him to the people and I told him I just want five percent of it, and then. Something happened when I called the dude on three way. He said, "Did you get the email, Bobby?" So I said, "Oh, like, you signed with them? You went on sign?" Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Even though then the week after that, Kyle said, "Dan, you got a song with Freddie?" Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> after you get him signed, uh -huh. he go and he switch sides on. He switch it up on you. Yeah, and these people and these people love Mo three at this label. Wow! You know, Did you they, get your five percent? No, uh -uh, I ain't heard nothing back from. That's why I ain't, uh -uh. But see, you be doing deals with no paperwork. Nah, it's cool though. You talk, I don't, if, if if I do a deal with you, no paperwork, and you show me without no paperwork, think about what you gonna do with paperwork. Who was that came on here and said that they that that J Sean Cotton? Sean Cotton yeah. said that he 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 said he know he know that you know, they gonna, gonna be just loyal. He said, yeah, he yeah. said because you don't know nobody till they, they get money. Yeah. See, but see, I, sometimes sometimes I don't like doing no paperwork. Because then they be like, man, let me out this, let me out this contract. Now it make you like a whole ass nigga. You gonna let them out the contract? You know what I'm saying? See, that some people don't see the the good things you do to try try to help somebody change their career. I ask you this one thing: Do you? How do you feel about Birdman? Do you feel like because he was just on Big Fat uh, Big, Big Facts podcast? He changed all their lives, and they and they make him still look like the like he's. I, I look at that, but I, I said the same but, thing. Long but time that, ago. that's a, the East Coast do that more that more so than the, than bro, the in any, the South, bro. Anybody with power, people make them seem like they a snake and they stealing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you say Any people. Artists, okay, that, that, that's that's, that's, no, that's no, listen, the people that's listen, this broadcasting it. it. This how I look at it. Any artist who want to sign with Jay Prince to this day. Okay. Any artist who should want to sign with uh, Suge Knight. Okay. P. Diddy. Uh, QC. All them. But the average person, you put all of them on the paper, even me, you put, you put all of us on the paper and say, who would y'all sign to? Everybody would say, hell no, nah, neither one of them, they go fuck you. Yeah. Birdman too. Yeah, Birdman. Yeah, yeah. Bird, I can't I, see that though. I, I always I say Birdman get a a, a, a a bad stigma when Jay-Z, all these boys, everybody, Puff Daddy, they all left these camps and it changed over time. It's a time variation. Mm -hmm. Over time, people grow and evolve. And I also feel like the artists who have been blessed to get these financial gains blow a lot of that money and I don't think you should be blaming the guys who put them on because they get a lot of uh, opportunities inside of those deals, man. Yeah, that's why that's why I don't get no orders, no money. I make them work for and grind for. for yeah. Them, so I can know who I'm dealing with during the process. Do you Mo see three with a million dollars? Two thousand seventeen. Two thousand seventeen. He would have crashed out. Yeah, he would have. At two thousand seventeen, he would have crashed out. He crashed out. Yeah. Hardcore. Yeah. So. At two thousand, he never made it to <laughs> yeah, where he made it. Yeah. So. Yeah. So you know. That. So you know. Some people be like, man. He should have been over there with them. Should have been over there with them. Nah, you know they couldn't handle them. O three, 
The average person couldn't handle no more three back then. Do you think that, because I, I, you know, Lil Flip and all them showed us that the South could pretty much uh, evolve on its own without the East Coast or the West Coast yeah, getting can. behind them. You do can. you feel like that T- we, we got our own thing going on? Dallas do. Dallas don't know how big they are. I went to Atlanta. I've been in Atlanta for the last two, well, a couple of days. Uh, for one time, I first walked in one club. To, uh, you know, I go to the slums to help. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I'm back to starting from the mud, getting done done the seven out the ground. Yeah. Um, I first walk in that bitch. They play. They play. Uh, walk around the club trail lead, and they play bust that pussy out. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And that's me walking, walking right in the club. You know what I'm saying? Till like, before they even noticed me and got on that Mo three shit. So right now, uh, uh, I, I believe I believe Dallas is a pioneer. Wow. You know what I'm saying? You notice all the bloggers is here too. I had a dude call me from where yeah. Alabama this morning. He was talking about he loved his show, and he was like everybody. He named all of the ones in Texas. Like this is the main spot, yeah. Dallas Hills, where the bloggers oh, are. Bloggers, at. yeah. People know how to, we entertaining. And so you know, uh, even real tone, real tunes with yeah. me for the last yeah. part. We oh, you we, was with you. I seen yeah. him in Atlanta with me and my yeah, wife we down all there. at the BMF uh, party for and, sure. Yeah, and people walking up to me, you know. Of course. Artists, I, so so if I had a I had a real tune, real tunes right next to me, so you know I put out all them artists that, that come to me crying, talking about they want to get on and this and that. They got this shit coming out. They got this shit coming out. I just throw them on real tune. I right, go talk to him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's real too, man. I met him, man. He seemed like a a guy that he he don't see. He seemed like a stand up guy. Me and him talked at the mall. What was it, at Lennox? Mm-hmm. And I was like, uh, he we just met. We just talking because we had already been going. You know, we talked on the phone, but we had never met. And uh, we just bought, in passing. Just I was like, yeah, nigga, I just talked to you, you know. And uh, but how is it? how you? Because I see you and him, y'all vibe a little bit. Uh, now nah, it pissed me off sometimes though. Too big a blogger. <laughs> Yeah, I noticed that. He's looking for the next big thing to uh, to post. Okay, so, you know, okay. You know. <laughs> so you know that already. I already so know you know, I but you use mind. that to your advantage. I watch you. Why is it? Because you you almost like when you go in your brand, you almost a brand in yourself. You pretty much could promote yourself to say I'm gonna be here or there. Niggas will book you. They do. That's what I'm saying. So you already doing. You got your business going, and the bloggers do too. Yeah. So it's the same thing, really. No, I understand, but yeah, you understand. But sometimes these bloggers be putting. Uh, you said that last time too much. Stuff. Yeah, they put too much shit. <laughs> when somebody get killed, you know, yeah, they yeah, go, they ain't going to no funeral. Yeah, I just went to uh, uh, Ward yeah. Two Lives funeral the other day. Yeah, 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 I had to be there. Yeah, yeah, because so, he was on my show. You know, if something happened to you, I'm there. Yeah, so that's he, just I'm just like that. You know, I see these. You know, you know, they should have did more for him. Yeah, if I'd have knew Mo three, yeah, I'd have been there, nigga. That, that, yeah. I'm, that's who I am. I don't play. It's a whole different ball game with me. I can promise you. Yeah, if I'd have knew you then, you know what yeah. I'm saying. But I didn't yeah. have this. I ain't had nothing. I was just yeah. man. We just, we had the store, of course, but that's it. We yeah. just help help people, you know. Yeah, we we old man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not old. Not, me. not you. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't fault you for that, but you know, so many people got watch these. You know, I mean, y'all need to start talking about the uh, rapper, man. Oh, you keep bringing that up, cause uh, but you ain't gonna put no name on it. They old, they yeah, old. you ain't gonna put no name on, cause you ain't gonna give them no cl- uh, no shine. I all know what you're doing. I love my own person. Own person I respect as old oh, rapper Lucha. Lucha been on here. That's my guy. He yeah, real yeah. respectful. Yeah, he good. He good people. Yeah. Why, why do you? Why? Respect? Why Lucha? Yeah. yeah. Why Lucha? Why him out of anybody? Out of all the people in Dallas, Lucha did what he can to with the beef stuff. But you know, at the end of the day, he was so far gone. But Lucha did what? Lucha, uh, Lucha, uh. Lucha did what he could. He want to get an interview. He okay. said it too. Yeah. Go ahead. He Lucha did what he, he did what he Go could. Ahead. But then uh, at the end of the day, uh, uh, it was so far gone. But the other niggas that was out of jail at the time, you know, they wasn't. Uh, they wasn't. You know, they were worried about getting they they yeah. they out there. They wasn't concerned with nothing. It's, I could see when it's you a selfish moment. Yeah, when you said last time you was like they nobody showed up when he passed. You know, all the all the all the bloggers, all the all the interviewers, all the people fell back. I felt that he was, was a like, threat. Damn. He was a threat to the to them. He was a threat to them. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, you know, you got a little nigga that that, that and look, put like the, you know, you know, I I went to school in Oak Cliff and stuff when I was a kid, elementary. Yeah, and then, you know, three went to school after to McKinney. Okay. But still to this day, they go I always say, I'm from uh, 
Go ahead. He just shot. Uh, I'm from uh, Cedar Hill. Okay. They go always say, uh, uh, I'm from Cedar Hill. Yeah. But the coolest thing to say, Mo3 wasn't from Dallas. Yeah, they say he was from McKinney. That's what everybody always say. But he moved, he, he, he moved, bro, there ain't nobody from North <coughs> Dallas. Hey, that don't even matter. Y'all, that nigga hard no matter what. Yeah, but see, but you know, they threw so much negativity on it. Mm hmm. You remember, you know, even the people in his own neighborhood, you know, they wasn't really just rocking with him like that because he didn't do nothing for them. Yeah, yeah. So, so, hey, man, top three artists of all time, you got to answer this. Dallas, I ever, Dallas. No, uh, uh, like any genre. genre. Uh, any genre, I don't uh, care. My favorite. Number uh, one. Uh, Mo3, Boosie, and Pimp C. He hit that hard. That's my nigga right there. Go on, yeah. Pimp C. Did you say, anytime a nigga hey. say Pimp, you know how I act, man. Two out three ain't bad. What? No, nah, because you and him got the same bad. top three. Yeah. So Except for Webby, bad. right? But Pimp C, nigga, I told nah, you to quit playing. No, nah, he didn't say what he want. He, that's his. his. Webby. Yeah, but nah, I know nah, Pimp C. Come like, on, man, don't do that, bro. You should be yeah. happy. Nah, I like him. Cool. I said two out of three ain't bad. I like Webby though. Uh, it ain't two out of three, young nigga. For me, go ahead. Yeah, I, I like. Get it. I like Webby though. Bro. I do too. Love him. But I don't build a relationship with Boosie. Yeah, you and Boosie, right? Yeah, Boosie and Boosie, Boosie are real new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met him. Like I said, I met me. We met him in Vegas, man. Good dude. Yeah, I liked him. Uh, like Real him. dude. You get what you. He like me. You gonna get what what get what, get you what get. it is. Mm -hmm. You get what you get. Yeah. Don't throw a fit. Yeah. Yeah, I like. Bro. How did y'all get so close, man? Just during the time he worked with Mo. Yeah. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Uh, did Mo looked up to him? That was his, like his the that guy was that favorite he, rapper. Yeah, favorite rapper. He want, you know what I'm saying? He wanted to be like Boosie. Like, like, how did he break down? I'm, and I'm going to leave you alone after this because I know you got stuff to do. Break down how that whole interaction happened. They called. And uh, Boosie's brother called TQ. And, uh, and then no, Bow. Boosie had a show out here in Dallas. And Bow said, We're going to take Boosie to Red Bird Mile. Wow. And so three pulled up and Boosie was excited to meet him. Wow. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? You was there? Yeah, I was there. You always around. Three one, y'all got to stand. We wasn't catching a flight or he wasn't going nowhere that me. That's the way he posted. Until two thousand twenty, you know, he went to cause you know I had a hip replacement, so he went to uh he went to go get his teeth done. That's what uh Sean Sean Cotton talked yeah, about. Yeah, and then he went to one other place, but he wasn't catching a flight with that Without me. you. That's he wasn't dope. going out of town, he wasn't doing no shows. You know, he didn't wanna leave if I wasn't there. That's dope, man. You that's a, that's and, and that's a good thing, you know, for for to, to have somebody, the time y'all got to spend together, that's dope. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And you can't beat that. And, and and nobody, like I said, to me, the way he hit Dallas, ain't no that ain't happening no more. But I'm gonna have to see it to believe it. You know what I'm saying? See what? See somebody else come up like he did here, and in 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 the clubs like he did, get the people to sing song for song, word for word. You know what I mean? And the lyrics was hard. I showed his music to a girl. We was in Michigan, Robin. And and everything he he was doing that's was banging, e man. That's, that's easy in Dallas. So you gonna do it again? Here we go, Rain. That's easy in Dallas. So you you feel like you could you can make this same movement happen again? Dallas, huh? yeah, cause Dallas don't have their own minds. Okay. Well, I'm gonna be you know, watching. You know, uh, you know, Dallas ain't got their own minds. You know, Dallas, like it could be a thousand rappers that go hard out here, right? Mm hmm. Until they see you kick it with somebody else. Or do a song with somebody else that they be like okay then they gotta if they hear the other the outside world say throw a speaking on you then they be like okay you know wow. what I'm saying yeah I get it cause yeah, I, see I see it, it too. I can see yeah. it so it's easy it's easy it's very very easy That's and I'm, I'm I, I definitely know you know we appreciate you we love you bro like I always say everybody sit in that seat um, hold on, hold on. what much, you got for how, how much did Mo3 give back to Dallas a lot. He gave a lot back, huh? Yeah, yeah. And he well, paid everybody two thousand twenty. He paid everybody. He paid them people rents. Um, the year before that, you know, he he back to school. You know, he did the shoe drive. You know, North Dallas. They were still clowning him because he only bought thirty five pair of shoes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, he always did something. I I word on the street. You know, I'm from the outside looking in. That's right. what I'm going to say. Something what? that uh, you I heard through the grapevine that you and uh. Mo three brother had issues. Cold, cold had it had an issue. Uh yeah, they just made some bunch of goofy shit up. And that y'all just told you wasn't no fight or no, they just made a lot of stuff. So you you so you, you this is this man. is street. Oh, well, you, well, oh, you, huh? you hit that man. Oh, no, you know, oh, so you you got some insight? No, nah, I'll just talk. It's just, <laughs> it's just Instagram. 
It's just, oh, this nigga, you're a hell, man. You, you'll slide by, but it I got to watch it, man. It was distraction. What happened, man? It was, I don't know. Give it up, up, man. We, what happened? I don't know. We just walk up to Fred and them and yell at them, talking that shit on the internet. And then, you know, the day after Mo 3 album dropped, and, you know, they, they came over some old goof ass shit that made them look bad as hell. Man. Like, <laughs> damn, nigga. Then I had to look back and say, yo, oh, Fred just dropped the album, you know. That bitch sold 300. 300 wow. copies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't seen no billboard, no album release party. I think they were mad because they, they, they couldn't have no album release party around these motherfuckers. I don't know what's going on. Wow, this dude here is something yeah, else, yeah, man. I don't know what's going man, on. Hey, man, thank you for coming on Boss Talk 101, yeah. man. We, hey, I, like you said earlier, you were messing around, but I'm going to have you back on here. Cool. I promise you, I'm, I'm, I'm going to always bring you back. And, and like I said, if you got somebody that, uh, you know what I'm saying, you you working on a promo press or whatever. We done locked in now, so right. at the end of the day, just holler at me, man. I'm in the city. I, I'm trying to bridge the gap. I'm trying to bring people together. You know that. I got you. you. But I see you be get, doing stuff, too. Right, and right. and I always tell a nigga the truth. Like, you out here really trying to get niggas a job. or You really man, out doing look, some real stuff. You know what nobody, I'm saying? Let me tell you like this. And I, you know, I, uh, ain't, no, ain't no other organization or a group of people that have helped people, you know, get money like this. No, I'm passing out checks around here. Yeah. I'll make sure everybody who rock with us before from the beginning still get paid. Shit, where my check is? You know what I'm saying? You, ain't, you did rock with him before listen to all this nigga. No, nah, but he talking about like prophecy now. Prophecy he still, he, he big up you. I am working. When he was on this show, yeah, yeah. he say you, you, you know, prophecy, you always book him. Am I, uh, Tater Mac, uh, uh, Mozart, uh, 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 Big Cuz, the dude who engineered Mo3 shit. Uh, I, uh, hood, hood, you know, Zach the DJ, uh, you know, all them people, you know, I made, I made sure they get, I made sure they got chicks from the labels, they, cause they've been around Dallas Global. Uh, I got it firsthand from 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 yeah. Prophecy. He yeah. told me like you, you that was right after that too. He still was like you hooking him up. Yeah, and all the bloggers, you know, I'm cool with them because you know, outside people that want to get want to get known and, and heard in Dallas, and then I just. Uh, I send them to I I got a press run that I do. And I send them to every blogger. I'm wow. put y'all in the mix. Wow, yeah, yeah, man. Like I said, uh-huh. we here. We we in the, we in the hey, we in the building now. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, it only been it ain't been but about seven months. I say six all the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga, we pulled up though. We yeah. pulling up right too. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. getting calls from out of state. Niggas just loving the yeah. show. Yeah, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. If my y'all inbox, act right, if this nigga stay out of jail, we gonna we gonna have a hell of a show. Hey, they leave they leave me alone. I ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Let me do me. Y'all do y'all. Leave me alone. Thank you so much, man. Ray, yeah. man. We, hey, man. We love you. Appreciate you for coming on Boss Talk 101, man. Uh, yeah, yes, sir. All right.